first thing that you're going to need for this is to buy yourself one of those canned hams that come in a container that look like this. And then we're going to decorate it for our troll. What I did first is I cut out a piece of sparkle paper and put it inside on the background. And then um, on one of my walks, because I walk that dog, um, I find pieces of uh, bark and things like that. And it really helps to sort of make it more rustic to use a piece of bark someplace on it. Um, I had some of this, I'm not sure where it came from, but I put this around the edge. It's just sort of a, a Christmas uh, icicle type. Of thing. And I put that around the edge. Then, what I did is, because I'm going to be putting my little troll in here, I want him to be on top of something, and I'm going to be putting a Christmas tree or an evergreen tree, because this is for January for our Christmas. Um, I'm going to put our tree over here to the side, and then the little troll here. So what I did do is I went ahead and got some of the rocks, these are easy to get in the floral section of any store. Just buy the rocks. Uh, it's a little hard in the winter to go out and find your rocks. But you can get a rocks. And then I put glue gun and put those rocks here. So this is the, the, the diorama's base or its little uh, stage that we're going to put everything in. Now I'm going to show you how we do our little troll and the rest of the things. For our little troll, this is where you can use um, hose. You take, and I just got these, but you can just take a hose. They can be ones with runs in them. And then you take some cotton. You put that in and you twist it around and tie it off. And you have a troll nose. Now, one thing that is confusing to people and is actually really hard to do is when you're cutting this fur, and I have a piece here and I'll show you, you literally have to use a comb to cut it. So what you do is you take your fur, you part it with your comb, combing it up and down until you get a really nice part because if you don't you're going to have a mishmash of lengths and all of that so you go all the way along here just like you were combing hair and comb your fur the other secret to know with this type of fur is if it has a coarse weave on the back it's better to tear it than it is to cut it, and I'll show you how you can do that. So I've got a nice little piece here that's all parted. Then you cut right along your part line. You have a few little extra pieces, but then you have your beard already cut and ready to go. And I mentioned that you're going, you can rip it, that, what you're going to do is you take a little bit of a nibbin and cut down into it so that you get a thin uh, area and then you just rip it. And when you rip it, then it just naturally holds on. So those are two ways that you're going to be working with fur um, because it is a little specialized in how you have to deal with it. After you get your beard piece cut out, you're going to want to, again, go in with your, because you have to have a little rounded piece for it. You're going to want to go in and comb your fur so that you can cut a half circle. circle, you have your nose, and then we're going to do the body. To 
To make the body for the troll, you're going to use a sty uh, styrofoam ball, or you can use packing styrofoam. If you've got a lot of Christmas presents, if you have the ball, you're going to want to cut it down. And then cut it in half because you're going to be using this piece. So you have the nice round little belly for the troll. And then what we do is we cover the body with felt. Just cut some felt out. It's easier to glue it into the center. And then you wrap it around, fold it around until you get a nice little body ready to go. After you have your body, you're literally just going to glue a styrofoam ball on the top. And after you've got that done, then what you can do is you can figure out how you're going to do your hat. And the hat is pretty simple. I would recommend that you get a uh, fabric somewhat like this, that's sort of stretchy, almost like a sweatery type of fabric, just because they make really good hats. You're going to cut out a triangle shape. Then you're going to sew it along here. You, you can glue it too. After you've sewn it, then you're going to turn your hat inside, right side out. And it's nice to make it kind of long so that he has a really long little thing walking around. Get your hat and then you're going to put it over your uh, ball. You're going to want to, uh, when you get it on your head, you're going to want to glue it on. Then you're going to want to attach your little nose. I'll go ahead. I didn't tie this off, but you get the idea. And get your nose put in underneath your hat so you get a nice little nose. Then you're going to glue on your beard. And it's easier to glue your body to your head and then get your beard put on. And then you have your little troll. After you have your troll ready to go, it's pretty easy. Then what you do is you decide sort of what you want to put in. And I say different types of things that look wintery. Um, and I have this tree. So we put a tree in here. We put our troll in here. And we realize, I realized that after I did that, I would like to have something that makes it more rustic. So I put in this branch. You can put in something like one of these. You can also add anything else that you think is going to make your little troll look rusty. And you have your troll ready to go for decoration for January. Surely he will bring you good luck because I think that's what trolls are supposed to do. Have fun making it.